Hi, today we're going to look at creating a data bar uh, which uses conditional formatting to work out a percentage. Um, we do this by creating the data, uh, we summarize the data into a fraction and we uh, format a cell with the conditional formatting. Uh, so what you can see here, I've created two columns on the left hand side, a task column and a completed column. Uh, the completed column is the one that we're going to be focusing on. At the moment it uh, contains numbers in um, all of those cells and what we're doing here we're, we're looking up this number from this range of cells in sheet number two here. I've called this range of cells uh, completed. Um, so what we do is we go back to uh, the original cell and we basically do a data validation uh, on that completed range of cells uh, to look up that so it's pretty simple to use you can access that from the data tab but uh, we'll just move on here so we've got a total task so we need to work out this so um, what we want to do is count the total amount of tasks which we have in the completed column to start working out the percentage so we work that out um, by completing that formula there we've got 11 and we need to work out uh, the total amount of, of tasks which have been completed we use this uh, we use the count if function to do that um, we specify the range of cells and we specify the criteria that we're looking for uh, in this case the criteria is one because we're using one to reference a completed task and we can see we've got 11 completed tasks and now what we'll do we'll change some of the completed values here to zero and uh, we can then see the total completed number is dropping there and it's now on eight uh, what we'll then do is work out the percentage of this and we do this by um, totaling the uh, the cell to um, 100 uh, divided by the contents of the total task so divided by that cell there multiplied by the total completed cell there and we get a value of 72.72 percent so we've got the number in there and all we need to do is put a conditional formatting rule in there so we'll insert a data bar uh, and you'll notice that the data bar consumes the entire contents of the cell which is fine for the time being we'll go in and change that so let's uh, select the blue data bar because that's fine for what we're using at the moment we'll go into conditional formatting again and we'll manage the rule uh, we can see that it applies to the cell that we've selected so we'll just go into the data bar rule and, and there's a number of different options on there but what we're looking for here really is the minimum um, field there we need to change that from a type of automatic to a type of number because we are working out um, the number between 1 and 100 based on a, cent on a percentage so we change the minimum 1 to 0 we change the maximum 1 to 100 like I say and we can uh, OK this and then that will work out the uh, bar percentage for us so we OK that and we OK that and you see immediately that the the bar has dropped to uh, give the, a representative of the percentage. Now we can change the, uh, the the rule here so it hides the number by selecting that checkbox there, clicking OK, and you'll see that the number's disappeared, um, but the bar still retains. And what we can do is we can change the uh, the numbers here, um, so the bar automatically updates itself and uh, we can change them so the percentage is uh, increased and the, the if you notice the bar will change again there you go so that's basically how you configure a, a cell for conditional formatting within excel uh, you can use this for many applications within excel but uh, i hope this video has been uh, very useful for you and thank you very much for watching